Welcome to another edition of Gen 5 Resto Mods. Today we're going to take a look at the LT1 power steering conversion from ICT Billet. So I first started with the All American Billet conversion, but it's only for the L83 and it's only for the KRC pump. I thought I could make it work. I used it before. The L83s are different than the cars. The, I'm not sure why they did it, but the, the water pump is on the left-hand side on the cars. On the trucks, it's on the right-hand side. So they basically mirror everything and swap it over. So that happened till 2020, then they decided to go back to the middle again. So there's L83, L84, which is the newer one, L86, which is the trucks, and then L87 in the newer version. This is a LT1. So the LT1s are from 2014 all the way up to 2021, and they're continuing to make them. So I looked at a lot of them, and the reason why I chose this one is because I don't want to spend $2,700 on a full serpentine system. So I like to use the existing serpentine system if I can. So this is this is a really good deal. The All-American Billet, that one this was 160 bucks. Doesn't work. It takes the KRC pump, which is like five hundred dollars, and um, it doesn't work with the LS3. So this is the LS3 pump, which bolts from the front. The KRC bolts from the back. So you're not going to save any money doing that. So this is my solution. This is the best bang for the buck without having to spend a lot of money. So as a typical uh, engineering solution, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's really good, uh, but the instructions are. A little they could use some more help so this is your instructions it's just graphic only and this is an example of, of everything that ICT billet makes they make tons of stuff for LS and NLT if you haven't seen their website man there's tons and tons of stuff it's all made local or not local but it's in the United States I think they're in Kansas and um, I like buy American so this is part one uh, we'll go through it quickly the first issue is this particular nut on the back on this side isn't a nylock or it's not a crush. And it should either be castellated or it should be some way, you know, I, I um, use Loctite on it, but you don't want that thing coming loose, especially uh, on a serpentine system because this is an all-inclusive. It's not separate. I like these ones here because it runs a separate belt, but... Maybe this is part of the whole serpentine system. And speaking of belts, they don't tell you what belt <laughs> you need. <laughs> How can you design something and then say, don't tell me what belt it is? So this is a 915K6, which is a 91.5 inch belt. I mean, they told me what it is after I asked them, but <sighs> you think they put that in instructions, but they don't. So it's really nice. Uh, it doesn't mount up as high as I thought it was. I like using the integral um reservoir rather than remote you can go either way but this just makes it simpler in terms of installation i kind of like them down here but um that's this is the best bang for it it's only 199 bucks so it's 200 dollars. another you know 15 20 bucks for the belt so it's a um it's a really nice solution so i haven't they don't give you the we have to buy the pump the pump you can buy a lot of different ways in there or anywhere from 100 to 250 dollars depending on where you get them from uh, i get a lot of stuff out of rock auto i happen to get this one off ebay and you don't get the power steering pump pulley which i have another one but it's on another car so we can't use that one so that'll be in part two once we get it once we get it together so i would say that this is the best solution for your power steering pump conversion for an lt1 car engine that's ict billet and it's ictbillet.com 200 bucks buy it 